Warm is here. A new hands-on exhibit in Arlington lets you dive into an imaginative world where insects don't have just super abilities, but are superheroes as well. Mm, bugs. Yeah, <laughs> Bug Squad opens this weekend at the River Legacy Center, and Paige Ellenberger's inside this morning with a sneak peek. Oh my, that's a big one. <laughs> Hey, Brendan and Lauren, yeah, that's a big one. And Lauren, I, I fear that I heard a little bit of judgment whenever you said bugs, but I promise you these bugs are very cool. And it may look like I'm just inside of a big jungle gym right now, but I promise it's so much more than that. This entire exhibit here at the Nature Center in Arlington uh, really showcases and I guess educates people on what a bug's life truly is like. I'm gonna head down this slide, AKA this uh, tunnel that an ant would make. So here we go, here I come. And just like that, okay? So imagine I'm an ant, right? And something you may not know, ants can't see. They entirely rely on vibrations and other senses to create their ant homes, right? I know we all saw the ones that may have been in our elementary school rooms, you know, the ones where they build tunnels. And I'm looking for my friend, uh, Shannon Porter. She's around here somewhere, would be able to talk about this better with me. Oh, there Hi. she is. I felt your vibration. You felt my vibration I up there. Did. And you were in a tunnel. Why were you in that tunnel down there? Well, I was working <laughs> real hard. Uh, ants, as you said, they cannot mm -hmm. see. And so what happens is, is they have to really rely on those senses to be able to work and build their homes and work together and communicate. So those vibrations that I felt from you, that told me of where you were and that you were coming around to me over on the side. Oh my goodness, so fun. And this is one part of a pretty large exhibit that you all have here. Talk to me about what folks can find here with the Bug Squad. Well, this exhibit's all about the bug superpowers. And so I have a lot of superpower insect friends here with <laughs> us that you get to come and explore a lot of their strengths that allow them to survive in the world. So we have Phoebe, who she is a firefly and we all know fireflies have that magnificent luminescent um, aspect behind them to be able to communicate and to be able to survive you have our drone cockpit that is all about highlighting the strengths behind our dragonflies that you see flying around their magnificent magnificent flight is um, something that humans have mirrored and mirrored in many things that they've done then of course we have our wing pattern interaction yeah. where you get to learn about a lot of the patterns of wings, what the wings are made out of, the importance of that so that they can make their long journey, sometimes over 2,000 miles, yeah. to get to where they need to get to. So fun. And Shannon, very quickly, talk to me about what's behind this exhibit, why you want folks to come out. Well, first, we want folks to come out to connect with nature mm -hmm. because it's important for their health. It's important for kids to also connect with nature so that they can be inspired. I have that sense of wonder be back in their lives and hopefully once they are able to connect with those, they'll be able to want to come here and learn about bugs and hopefully once they learn about their superpowers, maybe want to go out and find some of these in their backyard. Amazing. Shannon, thank you so much for joining us today. I will let you get back to your tunnel if you so choose. This I do. A great exhibit. It opens Saturday to the public and close on Sunday. But you can find a link to tickets over on our website, fox4news.com. Tickets are pretty cheap, too, about $10 for adults, 7 for kids. So if you're interested in a bug's life, this is a really good opportunity.